car. I think you got gloves. All right, it's getting close. Oh, got him. Tighten it, tighten it. See if that hooks somewhere. Yeah. Can't see. Perfect D hook. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if they, because they don't have the grind, like they didn't have the grind in early in their life. Choppy today. Well, but we're like, gonna be like, Bay. we're not gonna be crossing this. We're gonna be too far apart from this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, what is it? What is it? Is that what we're doing this week? We're doing L. We're doing the L. This is it. It's ridiculous. We're doing this this week. Leaky. Sorry, this is it. We're doing this this week. Leaky. What did you guys catch the big shark on last time we were here? Last time we were here, we caught a big shark. Well, the last time we were here, we didn't catch any big sharks. The time you guys caught the big the sharks. The time we caught the big sharks, we caught them on Atlantic salmon heads that we purchased at the West Side Market in Cleveland. Okay. What pole? What pole? Uh, we use what this, size? This pole and that pole. And then we got the big guy here. We haven't caught one on the big pen yet. Pen squall, 50 miles. Stop at a 7 Eleven. Yeah. You did give the death stare. He gave the old. And them girls you were playing music. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the death stare that you, you wouldn't believe. We made it, guys. I to go. We made it. We fucking made it somehow. We made it. We need, you need to go get more of those cigars later, too. I have more of these. Okay, so Bye, I was ladies. saying I was giving you the death stare. I didn't even Bye, know. Bye, ladies. Yeah. Now, that music came out and you went have to, fun. to me like that. Cast this guy out. <laughs> You, you give me, you got the best, best death stare there ever was. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll paddle one out at some point this week. I think you will. That was definitely the plan. Yeah. All right. A little quick update. First night, we're at the beach. It's about 6.30. Everyone is finally here. And we're taking out the big shark ride. We're trying to get a first night shark. I don't know if it'll happen, but. Gonna get a first night shark. We're trying to get a first night shark. Ethan's going on the paddle. Uh, who's controlling the reel, you? Isaac controlling the reel? Okay, all right. And we're gonna push Ethan out. And we're filming with three or four different cameras right now, so. It's gonna be a little wonky, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. Do I keep going? After this next one. This one, 
One more, one more, one more. Jump on. Hold this, hold this. Give me it. Plenty of time. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. We'll get you past this wave and you're out. You're free. Go! Let me know when he's good. I'll go to it. Okay. Like 150 yards. <laughs> How far do we want to take this one? Ah, uh, like two or three hundred. Okay. I say we go to he's just. Kind of to get. I mean, he's not even that far off the sandbar. No. I've lassoed more sharks. You're going to grab the 20 foot leader. <laughs> That's where you're going to pull it in by. Two people on the 20 foot leader, pull it into about waist high water. Someone lassoes the tail, and then we pull it in by the tail rope. Into like the wet sand, kind of still in the water. Got to stay in the water. Yes. We'll take some pictures and do whatever. I'll be recording the whole thing, so don't worry about taking pictures. It'll be on camera. In, pull the leader parallel with the shark. So, shark's here. Pull the leader this way. And someone gets right on the hook and pulls with this. So leader is opposite of this. They pull the leader and this pulls the hook. It's the only way to get the hook out. I'll lasso. Okay. Alright, Ryan's lassoing. You guys leader. are leadering and pulling hooks. Okay. We should I will be running camera. Hey, right. before we take any pictures or anything like that. We need to get the shark ready to go. In the water, ready to go before we take any pictures. So we need to get ready to release before we stop the get to get so We don't bring it up on the sand, leave it down in the water. Got to keep the land-based shark fishing guys happy. Yes. Touch with your bare hands, because it'll cut the fuck out of you. It will? Try not to get it to brush you against, <laughs> okay. brush you against just, your legs. Alex, like, you weren't here for the beginning. Your job is to help Ryan tail lasso. Skin is like sand. Yeah. You and Ryan are helping tail lasso. Well, don't, don't try not to get by the mouth. Brush, brush the headlock? Is this, is no. this Isaac and Chuck? It, if, it, if it wraps you the right way, it's if you go, if you go against the grain. No I'm, hands go yeah. near hooks. We use this. No hands so near I'm hooks or mouth. I'm pulling tight. I'm just I'm I'm controlling this. Yes. Yeah. And then we can kind of pull it by the tail and the leader at the same time. We got to catch the shark the first. <laughs> I am fully prepared the to catch the shark. Cheers. Okay. One of the best weeks of our life. Yep. Best weeks of our lives, boys. I'm just gonna drink this one to myself, apparently. I don't got a beer. I wasn't watching. I don't got a beer. Alex is trying not to die right now. No sleep in the last two days. I haven't either. Just as much sleep as the rest of us. I'm another. I'm another uncle, though. Spinner shark. Spinner. It's on. It's on. Navy. Hey, get your, your shit. Do we need those stinks? I think we He don't like it, does he? No, not even a little bit. I didn't see his size. We're talking like three to five feet? Three to four. Three to four? He jumped and he looks pretty deep. Probably, obviously, a pretty deep fish, but. Yeah.
grill is screaming for all it's got. It's <laughs> screaming for everything it has. <laughs> Like I said, we're going to be over here. One of them holes about the bend sideways. That's all right. He's in front of that big wave. He's got to be in front of that wave. Do we even see the leader yet? There it is, I see it. Big wave, big wave. Big wave coming. Uh, that's a little bit longer than three feet, by the way. Okay. That's a little bit longer than three feet. Right, let them come up. Yeah, let them come up, let them come up. Tail. See you, buddy! See you, buddy! What just happened? That's... His tail got it. What kind was it? Spinner. Or a black tip. Or a black tip. They're yeah. there, hey. That's a black tip. First night, it was there. the sharks were there. there. So the it was there. The leader hit his tail and stopped yep. it right away. But they're out there. I they're literally there. was getting it around the... That's how fast, that's how fast you gotta go. Hey, we got like six rods in the water still, like a mile down the beach. I saw the fin because I didn't see it until we got close, and then I saw the fin. I was like, it jumped the second he went to the reel and into me. knew what it was. Yeah, so, so uh, to set the picture, we're a amateur land-based fisherman. Uh, we have our own equipment and own gear. We can all do it yourself. Pretty much everything we've learned from watching YouTube videos, that's what we do. So the first night we got down there, we said uh, we didn't exactly have the best rigs. We had what we had left over from our last trip. So we set out some rigs with a large pole, and then we had some casting rigs as well. And our first hookup was on a kind of a homemade casting rig. And that's kind of how it happened. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to litter it. I, I was going to Hopefully we can catch some more bait. Yeah, we're ahead of schedule at the moment. I don't think anyone's expecting a first day shark. No, I wasn't. And we don't I'm have anything ready right now. Personally, I mean, I'm excited. How was your first shark fishing experience, guys? I mean, that was something, wasn't it? I thought it was super exciting. <laughs> I felt like I was ex exhausted as Ethan. Yeah, Ethan. And was I didn't smoked. have to reel it in. Ethan was smoked from that. Ethan I just wish backwards. I. Uh, I was worried I was panting holding the camera even. <laughs> like, yeah. It's got rock steady, it'll be alright. Yeah. Yeah. The waves will drown it out. That's gonna hurt my soul forever though. It's alright, we're gonna make up for it. I'm gonna get a nice glorious shot. I mean of we Dylan. did that in an hour. That was an hour in. There ain't no way. Does it feel like it's God off? Damn it! I'll take it back. We got, we got one more kayak. We got one more kayak. We got one more kayak. Grab that. That's twice we've been tailed. We got. Do we have anything to put out? We're done with that one tonight. No, we are we're done with fucking. No, we're not. We're do we have, I don't think we have another we're wave. We're out. I can tell you a secret. Go. Yo. The fish are on the left side of the beach. They are on the left <laughs> side. Not of the over beach. there. Tailed They're it. Over there. Well, Cut it clean. I'm going to be honest with you, this is a point right here underwater. Cut it clean. The fish could be on the left side. Damn it. A lot of times the shark will come by and they'll catch the line. So they'll catch the line around their tail. Or the Dude, I didn't, even, I didn't even, like, so he was wasn't off. On, he wasn't he was, on the bait. He was yeah, on we the had line. No he was off before I set the hook. Yeah, we had no chance. He was close to it, though. Our spool's good still. Oh, oh, that's a 20-foot shark bait. So he had to hit it. He's right here. He's right here. We need another that one out here. Come on, come on. Set it up. We got another setup? No. Yeah. We don't. Uh -huh. What do you mean? We're out of stuff. Big stuff? <laughs> we, have, we have really big I'll stuff. It's too big. We, we gotta go shopping big. tomorrow. We gotta go shopping. We'll get it. Just out there eating twenty dollars shark rigs. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we have fourteen people to buy it up. By. 
Dang it. I was upset. Gosh darn it. I watched him hit that too. I looked over and it thing like boom. This might be, hey, Isaac, we're, dude, Isaac, dude. We're, we're 15 minutes into the video. Well, we got one more pull out tonight. It's opening morning. No, we're, we're, we're 15 minutes into the video. What? There's a shark right there. There's a shark right past the paddle board. Oh, it's right, yeah. Or it's a dolphin. Uh, well, yeah. If it's a dolphin, that hey, thing's that gone. that guy's going to actually hit our line. No, ours is dropped like right under. Do you see it? Uh, right. Yeah. Right. Right there. Right. Uh, past that second wave. Yeah. I'm. I got my camera on him. Like at no, noon like, or midnight, going to one o'clock. It's going this way. Right, right there. there. I just saw his camera left. Right there. Oh yeah. Dolphins. yeah, yeah. No, they're dolphins. dolphins. It's multiple. Dolphins. Yeah. Dude, that might be our. That might be. What's this? There's like two or yep, three. I see him. I see him. <laughs> Ready? All right, morning of day two. Uh, I guess it's afternoon, but we're going to the beach. Uh, today's a leisure day. I think we are going to bring one surf rod down just to kind of do some day casting, maybe catch some bait, see what's going on. But uh, yesterday, we'll get Isaac in there. Isaac's making rigs. Yesterday, uh, we hooked up twice in the first couple hours. So we put our rods out about 7 p.m. Uh, after we got here, after we kind of ate and got acclimated to the house, we went down to the surf and we had two hookups. Uh, one, we got all the way in. Uh, Ryan actually touched it, almost had the tail rope on it, then it swiped and cut. So uh, that actually probably counts. What kind of shark was that, Isaac? You think it was a black tip? Yeah, probably a five foot black tip. 150 pounds, maybe 100 uh, Shark experts who watch the video will be able to tell what it is, but we think it was a black tip. Yeah, and then we had another hookup real quick, and the line snapped almost instantly. The rod doubled above, over. Above the leader. Yeah, above the leader, just bam, and then rod snapped. Uh, then we came in and called it an early night, but we're going down for some beach action. Beach action, a little little uh, vacation time. It's day Sunday drink. afternoon, day some drink. day drinking. Uh, we'll come back and get some, uh, do some shark fishing stuff later. Should be a lot of fun. I gotta go. I gotta go find my wife. I have no idea where she's at. She's taking forever to get ready. I don't know if it's gonna hold me, but. First official day on the beach. We did a little fishing last night, but today's the first beach day. You got it, Sack? Yeah, I'm putting a weight in case we get some gusty. I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't think they are either. They're so tight that what? They ain't going anywhere. Oh, nice. Alright, listen, the rule is... I no, know the rules. No standing hands. I understand. I'll fix that. <laughs> it's time. It's beach day. Uh, that, one, that one was good too. That's a good intro. That's a good one. You got a bait fish rod? Yeah. Do a little bait fish oh, rod. Cool. Papa no rigs. All right. Maybe we'll All right. catch some. Bait fish rod? Sure. That's cool. First so afternoon, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I got my ring still, right? Uh, I still got mine. I'm married. Still. I felt it earlier. You married still? Still yeah, married. Still married. All right. still end, married. End of the week might be different. I didn't bring my good ring. Do you not bring your good ring? I never do. Where'd Nikki go? Your wife, Nicole. <laughs> Did she lose her bandana? Yeah. First afternoon. Wave. Wave at the camera. First afternoon, wave at the camera. Isaac's put out some bait fish rigs. I need a beer. You want one? I want one. I thought it was like super. That's what I'm saying. Now it's time. Now let's, let's, see what, let's see what we got going on here. 
What happened to you? What happened to you? What happened to her? Funny moment. Only me and you can be in here now. <laughs> Let her eat the slack. Linda, let's go. What? Linda, let's go. I don't know what to do. You happen. tried so hard. Where's the end? Three, two, one, go! I'm not going to do it. Oh, I already stepped on the <laughs> All right, we're in MMA fighting after this. <laughs> Are we? Apparently. Yeah, we learned some moves last night. Yeah, yeah. Kicking the Barry, kicking you in the shin one, is go. good. Lip sprayed my feet, so I gotta root for Liv. Oh, oh. oh my god, that's a good one! Oh. <laughs> that was a good one, that was a good one! I thought I was going. There's still bait on there? You almost did. Put it Let her go, let her go. Oh, oh so close. Go. All right, all right. I'm teaching all of y'all. Gotta teach you. We should have an actual tournament tomorrow. Tomorrow's a tournament. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, <laughs> it's actually a good strategy because you can step off before you hit the ground and you split. Hey, you're, you're the champion that tug me off. I guess I can tug people off pretty well. <laughs> Wait, come on, go! Oh, okay, we're on the wrong fucking end of the goddamn road. The end is the end of the rope. What do you think? <laughs> oh! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, let's do it again. For the Phantom Menace, I or SBO Live. Thick and Fran. I gave it 30 minutes. On YouTube. Anybody who knows me knows. Kayla was like, you should buy her a bikini. I was like, yeah, okay. It's like $65 not, not with like a bale of twine. Don't do this. Stick this. Whatever this is. Hey, you bought a $50 hoodie from me back in the day when I first came out with the Yeah, I'm a bitch. Hey, oh, hey, hey, what's up? Oh, hello. <laughs> so it'll be the 17 minutes. It's actually a pretty cool yes. video. So are we officially old? So we got, no, we got. <laughs> coffee after dinner? At the, at the lake party, I literally I just we got all the people. was so weird until I did it once, yeah. and I was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. This is how we know we're in the right place in life. All our friends all hanging out, and then look it. Wham! There's a big old velvet buck right outside the house. Uh, he's probably about 122. He's 12 years old. Probably about 122. You wouldn't shoot him. He's probably bigger than just a month ago. Breton is a 1,500 pound great white shark. He's hanging out outside right now. Could you imagine? You would. You could no play. You could probably get some film from the deck. Is he holding on? Without him. No, we just watch it. Yeah, it's a solid six. Hey, Dick! Oh! He's got a sway back. He's an old mature buck. <laughs> Caleb, come get this cat too. This cat is lounging harder than ever. I'm not worried about it. Am I I'm not worried about it. No, you don't look like that. <laughs>
Stop. <laughs> You're making fun of me, aren't you? No, I'm just saying I'm worried about you. Are you making fun of me? No, look at this. Let's look at this. You got dip in your teeth. You look like a hillbilly. Oh, welcome yeah. to America. Bros, Alex. <laughs> he always talks about how he's the nicest teeth and he's just going to fuck mm -hmm. him up. They're better than yours, still. <laughs> wow, <laughs> asshole. Rude. I, I disagree I with you, I can't use any of this video. <laughs> no, I'm good. Hi, Gina. How are you Stop, doing? Stop, I am not how, good how with you, this. Okay? How are you doing? I'm still getting this used to it. This is going to be on the uh, Super B roll. All right, guys, it is the evening of day two of uh, Shark Week, and we are out here. We're just doing some casting rods tonight. I think we got four setups. The wind and thunderstorms have just come through here, and it's just been raining for the last couple hours. We didn't really start shark fish today because of the uh, it was so hot. So the water's a little rough right now. We're just going to do some casting right now, and what we're using is some, uh, some cut mullet. We went to the store, bought a couple pounds of cut mullet. We're going to run... Cut mold just on these casting size rigs. I mean, some wire. I think there's like 300 pound mono on them. I think we got four of them. Isaac might have a bait rod down there, so we only just have three. But this is what we're gonna try, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get into. No, but it's going with the other waves too. So. The first shark. Well, if you guys know what this is. Comment below. That's the first shark of the week. Where did you did you find him in the surf? No, I caught him. First shark oh, he came in. Yeah. Just, uh, all right, now he's gonna die. Nope. Going back in. That was cute. Hey, will you do me a favor, Freeman? Give this a. Latte uh, open. I only got one hand right now. Look at that. Thank you. What we got going? Nothing going on. You're reeling in. Nothing's on there, nothing's on there. Get the back out. God, not very big. No, not big. Like a rat or a skate or something. It's not very big. No. Nothing crazy. Heads up. Keep him up. Coming up, coming up. I right. hey, grab the leader right here. Grab my tail, pull him up. I'm going to freak out. I can't get anything. Really? Right. I'll be able to take screenshots. I don't know what kind of shark it is. There you go. Well, it was little. I thought I could grab it. It ain't little. I mean, yeah. it was little, but... I mean, I can't yeah. imagine one four times that big. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're that all tagged with that thing. Where was Ryan? Your crazy heart still? <laughs> <laughs> Did that thing hit you? Hit what? I don't know, your leg. <laughs> I've seen him mess with videos like. Hey. Are you? You're, you're, 
your face. So don't get caught. Keep that rod up. Do we need to bring that other rod in? All right. Do we need to bring any other rods in? Not that thick. Did you reel that one in? No. no. Leave the big one. I don't know. I want you to throw the beers down and fill them so I can go help Alex. Hey, Alex is fine for this tangle. Well, they're, yeah, they're this tangle. Yeah. Tangle. You're good. Right. I'll keep tension on this. I got it. Yeah. I can't even hear that. this. You just gotta get the hook out, and it'll be. Do we have the de hooker? Try to take about the water. Watch your leg. Legs, Meg. That actually worked out really well. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's working out really well. What is he doing now? Oh, God. <laughs> I had to get over my anger last night. Two sharks for the night. Both oh. little, but two sharks. Sorry, sorry, I don't even, I can't see what's happening. Two sharks. Rebaiting. The bee stick's been doing well, huh? Yeah. I think that's the only one we've caught a shark out. Yeah. Three sharks total? Yep. So they say. So they say. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> what day is today? What morning is it? Monday. Monday. So it's our second morning, right? Second morning. Uh, chicken and waffle brunch apparently is what we're having, huh? Are you making a mimosa? Yep. Yeah. Can you make a start slippery slope? Just start like 15 of them. Yeah, Things have been going surprisingly well. They're trying to make me watch the Avengers, so <laughs> I'm out. But we'll get some video editing. We went and got some uh, sand fleas and shrimp this morning, so we can try to catch some bait fish from the surf. Yeah. Taking the boat out tomorrow morning for the second time. Hopefully, we can catch some fish. Yeah, sound fishing. Tomorrow, yeah, sound fishing. tomorrow starts true sound fishing. Yeah. We caught one flounder so far in the sound. But can't keep those, so. These three dropping kayaking catches. Man, yeah, those are welts. Yeah. Yeah. Those are serious welts. Yeah. You got messed up. Good dog. Almost took it. Day three shark fishing. Finally made it down to the beach. About noon. What time is it? Noon? With this no it's, there's ice underneath the bush. They put a half a bag of ice in there. Mechal Rich? <laughs> Damn, I didn't know you had that on. <laughs> Big rods going out have heads on them, right? No. I'm putting tuna belly and then a head on one of them. But one of them is getting tuna belly. You gotta go way out with this one. You eat those things. 
I mean, you could. You could definitely eat the shrimp. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you want do. the big one to have? Tuna belly. I want tuna I'm belly. I'm hoping it's not on the big, big one. Still. Yeah. That's going on the beef stick. No, we made a decision not to get out. We bought them, but... For what? That? Yes. <laughs> if we're being honest. Because Ethan's obsessed with the tuna belly. And he says that's what he's put on there. And he's only kayaking like 150 yards. Before. What are we trying to catch? Tiny little fish? Whales. You want to put a head on that? Might as well put a big shark. Yeah, because this rod's going to suck. It's going to suck to reel this in for a three foot shark. You know, this whole setup. It's still not that big. It'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. <laughs> we had a friend all day sniffing all that stuff out. Can I get some sharks? I'm the launch again. You want to be the other man for our launch? Yeah, I'll be. You got some on your side, so. That needs rubbed in. Yeah, yeah, one spot. One spot. There it is. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> I was running over as fast as I could with the camera because I knew it was coming. I got caught in the surf and yep. it went sideways. I almost broke my ankle. Yeah, wait, what I happened did. out there? Tangled. That's what we thought. Tangled. The beef stick. The bait came off. I had to pull back up, uh, put it back on. Uh, I put the long line in the water first. Yeah, you're over the line. I know, get the I can't see it. Can't go over I it. Small drum? That is a lighting, I believe. Not sure. Regardless of what it is, it's bait. It's bait. Bait. Woo! That water's chilly today. No, it's a whiting. Good bait fish. Good bait fish. First fish on the uh, surf today. Yeah. Not too bad. Just Good what start. we're looking for. All right. You sure it's not a drum? Yes. A drum would have a spot, and it would be a little bit whiter, a little bit redder. Yeah, they keep on getting higher and higher on the totem pole. Guy. Guy. Perfect. Insane. Isaac, do you think a big rake can hold one of those guys down? Croker number two. Like I touch your camera. I saw that. It's so, like, I can't stop laughing about Luke sneezing in your mouth. That's a decent sized piece of bait. Oh, yeah. Big bait equals big fish, right? Yep.
More blood? There's some guts. Yeah, just some, just some holes. Do slow, shake the earth up. Yeah. <laughs> work. For bait for the day. I'm mostly whiting. Uh, things could get western if this thing you gets hit. You need to figure out a better way to buy a fiddle. Or there's, there's no better way. Huh? You almost need to do one, one at a time. time. Handstands are tough. <laughs> yeah, I did my Sexy. In there. I want like a really little foot. That's one I don't know. Paul, like drinks A toast. I yeah. fucking like this. <laughs> Cheers. If this is fucking awesome. This could be the right, last I'll time we ever do this. Cool. Around Cheers. the room. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's Caleb. Whiskey in there. <laughs> I mean, Cheers. We're getting ready, boys. We are doing it. We are about to have way. Dylan's ready to go. Dylan. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> Cameras, bag, rods, rope, plug. We're good. We're in the beautiful outer banks, ready to go catch some fish. So I said we're gonna fish the flats, and then if we feel risky. I'm, Dylan, I'm filming Dylan through his mirror. <clears throat> Oh, if I hear that water bottle smack something again, I'm gonna reach back there and whoop the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <All> right. <laughs> so, Dylan, I ended up looking at the map, like after we went fishing, and this whole section right here is just big grass fuckery. Like, just all grass right here. You can only assume Luke it looked like grass, buddy. I know, but like, we need to not fish that kind of stuff today. Life jackets for us? Yes. You have to wear them. No. It's had to have them. Don't forget the plug. Looks like a good call. You put the plug in from the outside? That's sketchy. No, it's not. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. The water pushes it against the boat. <laughs> the plug's in. I'm filming the plug. 
because we're gonna still uh, see all the water that's in the boat, even There's though the plug's in. There's not a drop of water the other day. Not one. Leaky's not leaky? Leaky's not leaky. This one's not Fake leaky. brand. Fake. <laughs> all right, well, this is me doing a video for the leaky. This one might show up on a Cyan Brothers Outdoors too. But no secret where we are today. We're at the Oregon Inlet. And we're gonna go try to catch some fish. Not really sure what the target species is. We're gonna fish for some reds, we're gonna fish for some trout. Might catch some, uh, some flounder, maybe some sheephead. Might go to some pylons, try to catch some sheephead. But launching the boat behind us. Federales are checking their equipment over there. Hopefully they don't pull us over, but we're legal. And uh, that's it, boat's going in the water. Luke, let's talk about your boat. Boat? What is it? How long is it? 16 foot StarCraft Mariner. 16 foot StarCraft Mariner. And it starts on the third try every time. Okay. So that's exciting. One, two. Yeah. Look at that, right on the money. I've never used over half a tank in like fishing all of Lake Erie, so you can go quite quite a distance. Alright guys, welcome back to Leaky John Boat Co. Today we are in the Oregon Inlet. We're taking the boat out for the second time this week. The first time we went out we only We are not going out to the ocean. I mean, we're in salt water. Well, technically. Alex, we've been friends for many, many years, and we've never been to the beach together. Yeah, so romantic. But we're here. Mm -hmm. It's time. One week of shenanigans, fishing, and drinking, and we have to go to sleep. Big, big time grocery run. Big time. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Atlanta. <laughs> How can we just keep eating Mexican food? Because it's so good. Because it's so good. If you guys had to pick one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Perfect. Alex, let's go be busy over here. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what we got going on here? These are pretty funny. <laughs> oh, it feels so much better down here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
got in here Saturday night and we had our best hookup of the week so far Ethan had a really good either black tip or spinner shark uh, we got right up to the shore uh, everything was actually perfect a little swipe of his tail cut off he got away you guys saw that Sunday we had some good fishing at night we're catching some smaller sharks uh, it was actually pretty good action we wrapped up around midnight and the last two nights have been pretty dead we fished till about 11 30 yesterday we didn't fish at all on Monday actually but we fished till about 11 30 yesterday uh, no bites no nothing it was slow we did catch some bait fish during the day uh, so today's plan we are gonna be taking the large bait out on the kayak uh, actually we got a tuna head this time the biggest bait we've taken out so far it is a little bit early in the day for shark fishing but we're gonna take it out real far and deep and then slowly bring it in throughout the evening of the day we're gonna do some wrap techniques to keep the bait on there Hopefully we can get into those big sand tigers or tiger sharks we've kind of been looking for with you know, a hammerhead or a bull would be perfect, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's the hottest day we've had so far. It's about 87 degrees. There's pure sunlight. As you can see, there's shadows. It's real tough to film, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Today's going to be today's going to be special, I think. Isaac is wearing the perfect shirt for today. Hey! We're using Black Tip H rig. Someone filming, someone filming, someone filming. Filming guy, filming guy, filming guy. All right, we are getting ready to take out the big rod. We're gonna let it sit all day with a giant tuna head. Using the Black Tip H Monster Shark Rod. Huge 20 yacht hook, I think. Taking it out on our pen squall. It's a 50 wide. I'm thinking about taking it like 400 yards off the beach, a thousand yards of. 100 pound braid on there, plus this huge leader. I think it's like 20 foot long of this 450 pound mono. And we're gonna rig up this tuna so hopefully it doesn't come off. We're gonna hook it through the snout, put some zip ties through it, and have this thing sit all day. So that's the plan for the day. This is a massive tuna head. This tuna head is literally as big as the heads on the sharks we've been catching. We did try this the first day and it were unsuccessful, so we'll see how this goes. This thing is, it's probably five pounds. Five pounds. In that tuna boat. It'll be down low enough. Got the snippers for the snipping. That is a large head. That is quite bigger than the one that we picked up on first <laughs> night. Is that going on Alex's phone? Yeah. Perfect. I don't know if we should send one of this. 
sign. Yeah. I mean, we've gone this far. Yeah, that was me though, God forbid. Rules for paddling out. Don't go parallel to the waves. No parallel to the waves. And that's pretty much it. Don't be drinking. And got don't, those two things checked. Today. Don't tangle yourself in that. I've already gone parallel twice. <laughs> and we could replace the kayak, we can't replace the tail. I think so. That's the goal. We don't know if it's gonna work out very well. We do need to make our plan. You're gonna run that camera this time? Yep. Back occasionally. You see people on both sides waving their arms. Let me stop. You see it's like. Come on, hold on, come on. Drop the bait. Uh, I think he got tired. He didn't want to go as far as we We're thinking he's about 300 yards out. So we'll see. We got the line tight. We're going to sit here all day. I think occasionally we're going to move it a little bit closer because the first day we think he got buried in the sand dune. So we're going to move it a little bit closer. We'll see if it starts drifting or not. I think it's in there pretty good. I don't think it's going to drift. So that's what we'll do. Hopefully, uh, we have a shark on it soon. Let it go. Well, we've been waiting for it. Let him do his thing. It's on there, though? Oh, look at that. He's mouthing it and swimming with it. Unless it's just the... I haven't got my little bit. I haven't got It might be dripped in the bait. Good. It's definitely going more side. Look at the waves. This is what that sand tiger did that we caught. I know. There's no way that's the wind. That's a big one. It's time. 
yeah, get, it, get everything get this, else in. Get, this in. get everything else in. Go reel those in. Ballard. Ballard, go, go reel those in line. In. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. If it's dragging that way, dude, it's a big thing. That's a big thing. It's dragging the wrong way, ain't it? Don't care. Where's the camera? rest of the bulk? They'll be here. Ethan just went to start cooking. I know. No. Yeah, we have not seen this. <laughs> oh, shit. It's big. It's really big. Get the drag set right. I have no idea. Like someone's got to be looking out. They know the drive's out. I texted Bill. Yeah, I'll be happy with it being a big fan tiger. Here they come. I, just, I told Ryan he's going to get mad at some point. He realized he took. He's been waiting for this. Five feet. I hope it's not a ray. It might be a ray, but I hope it's not. I know, a ray. but I feel like both of them are lazy. They are. Like they when are. They, yes. they really don't really yep. know what's going on. They are on. both yeah. lazy. I kind of wish it was. Yeah. I would also. Five Airplane seconds. mode. Give the phone. You gotta put your. You gotta put all your stuff down. Would they be willing to share? Yeah, they'll let you reel if you put your stuff down. And you're ready. Give the camera to balance. He knows how to run it. We're not playing the rope game quite. <laughs> I mean, we kind of are. I think we got gloves. All right, it's getting close. yourself. Ooh, it's, a it's a big one. Luke, it's all you buddy. Tail him. One more wave and then tail him. Just watch his head. Watch if he gets off at this point, it's okay. Get him. Oh, 
Tighten it, tighten it. There you go, you got him, you got him. You got him. Yeah, just get him, get him de-hooked. I'm okay out here, I'm okay out here. Just get him de-hooked. See if that hook's somewhere. If you can't see it, we'll cut it. Just hold cut. Can I touch it? Take that, take this. Hey, we'll the ball. Watch your face. Watch out. Get out. Alright, Luke. Get out of the way. We'll move. We'll take him back to the center. Alright, are you ready? Ready? Oh, okay. Watch his face. Watch his face. Hey! Get up. Back out, back out. Alright, let's lock him out. Let's lock him out. Feel, feel for it. Feel, feel for it. Okay. Take him off. Perfect Let's go! Yeah! That was awesome! Woo! That was huge! Isaac, get the fuck out of there. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Good job, Isaac. All right, we need another two to head. <laughs> good safety hook, too. No, I got hurt. Thank you. I'll take the camera. Trade me. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? How big was that? Big. That was bigger than the ones we've caught before. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. That was exciting. Shark. That was amazing. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job all around. Just make sure he's not washing up. Yep. We need another tuna head. There you go, Luke. Bigger than but that was the only rod that we had out specifically for sharks that day. I'd say it was about three, four, five, yeah, five. Four, four, five, five, what was it, at five? Oh yeah, you were getting, yeah, you were getting dinner ready. So Ethan went back up to get dinner. We were eating dinner at 5.30, 6 o'clock. Our house was within walking distance of the beach. We were right, we were beach front on our house, so that made them, that made them real nice. So we're all just sitting around all day, pretty much just you know, bullshitting, drinking beer, hanging out on the beach, yeah. you know, pretty much having family beach day. And we hear the sound. This is the sound we hear before. All week. Okay, it's like the scene from Jaws when Quint is in the back seat and then his reel starts clicking a little bit and he's getting ready. The ones that had never heard it before weren't aware, weren't aware but the ones of us that knew what it was were like, and we are jumping up. Here we go. Like he up took a short run. run. He took a short, like, 10 clicker and stopped. And Isaac got kind of ready, and then he took another little run. And then that's when you, you don't set them up. That's when you tighten it up on it. Yeah, people don't understand that you can't just jerk the rod. Set the hook. We're not bass fishing. And you have four or 500 yards of heavy line out there. In order to have any input on the end of that line, you pretty much have to run back on the beach about 10 feet. But these circle hooks are you ran back about well, these circle hooks are designed as soon as you put pressure on that line and pull to the corner of the mouth. So you're not really hooking like a bass where you can set the hook and you just get that hook stuck in the bass and off anywhere. This is designed specifically to go to the corner of the mouth. But yeah, then we were hooked up and we pretty much knew right away what kind of shark this was due to the way it was fighting. We thought. Good job, Zach. That was amazing! That's what we came for. Good thing you swam out with the kayak where you did and dropped it. I know. I touch it so bad. You must have knew. Did you touch it? You just I knew. I didn't. I wanted to. You should have. I yeah. said yes. I, I, I am. I said yes, touch it. I didn't hear you. Good job, everyone. That was perfect. I think that yeah, was great. Great off hook. You got him off in the water yep. fine. Quick. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, boss. It wouldn't have been the complete. I throw some beers in there. We did well today, guys. Did well. Time to go back. Time to go back. Let's do it. You guys enjoy resting for a little bit. It's okay. You ready, Ethan? 
fucking board When I say drinks, I mean like two bottles for me. Wait. Back we go. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna eat too much up right when it's back up here today. Never mind, they're down there already. Uh, I thought about Alright, day four, take two. Yes. We are remaking our rigs because we caught that good shark earlier, came back and ate dinner, went hung up for a Cut little the bit. Cut the hook off. Yeah. I'm going to haywire this big boy on. Yep. Then we got a bunch of caster rigs. Set up like five caster rigs. Toss them out. We had to take a little bit of a break from the sun, eat some dinner, so. Oh, yeah. Big tunas. Big tunas are what's working, it seems like. We'll see you guys down on the beach as we carry all this crap down there again. Cheers, Linda. How are you feeling, Ballard? All good. Uh, it's Thursday here. OBX the movie. Um, we are really taking it easy and being tourists today. There's no fishing rods in the water. There probably won't be any fishing done at all today. Uh, we're going to go to some shops, some of the local bars we like. Jack Brown's. Uh, go get some seafood later. Uh, Maybe go karaoke and the girls want to go karaoke tonight. So tonight is the tourist night where we do vacation stuff. Uh, tomorrow, Friday is our last full day here, and we're gonna be hitting the surf real hard for some fish. So hopefully we get one more big shark. A couple smaller sharks would be cool. Anything actually. Pretty excited for it. But yeah, today's a rest day. One more day of fishing. We leave Saturday. Head back to Ohio, 12 hour drive home. Been a good week. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs>
taking the bait back out. Well, tell my fans and my mom that I love them. Because <laughs> the uh, surf is pretty rough. It's taking the last the, day. Taking the same tuna head we had out yesterday. Still got Two days ago. Still got some meat left to it, but it's pretty gross. Yeah, it's our last day. We did not fish yesterday. We, we took a touristy day, went to the bar with the girls. You guys all saw that wildness already in the video, so. We're gonna take this big boy out and sit all day, probably catch a sand tiger in about two hours. Yep, we wanna catch one more, one more good shark and we will be very content. Ethan, we're sending the sailor out. I'll show the, I will end up showing how crazy the surf is here in a minute. We actually gotta wait. We're actually gonna wait until these guys come down and flag them down. Ethan's taking it out as far as feels comfortable. Yep, no, no instruction today. You're just taking it as far as you feel comfortable and drop it. So go as far as you feel comfortable, then twice that. <laughs> and if you feel the rod pulling back at you, it's because uh, you guys messed up the spool. Happens. Yeah, we might have messed up the spool the other day. We had some technical difficulties, but... Surf's a little rough today. Dropping? Probably 300 yards. Out. All right, so the issue is it's going to be, the issue is it's going to be a little bit difficult to get him back in here with these big waves. So we have a three man team, plus the cameraman obviously, to uh, try to get Ethan in without breaking any bones. <laughs> she didn't see it. Linda mm. slamming a meat vessel. Glizzy. Yeah, wait for the your ass on. She's angry today, boys. All right, last day update. We've been out there. We've had the line out for about three hours. Nothing yet. But Ethan doesn't know it. I'm about to tell him. While he was in the surf boogie board, Isaac saw a massive stingray 20 yards <laughs> off the coast. No, it's like uh, 20 feet. 20 feet, just flapping its gums. Yeah, yeah, it was real close to you guys, too. I thought I saw probably a path. I thought I saw something when I was in there. There was a big stingray out there right by you. Huge. I gotta go watch the ball drop now, so I'll go catch it. Huge, huge. But last day, nothing yet. Dinner, about to be dinner time soon. We got about four hours of fishing left before it's done. So hopefully we get one last hook up. Got anything to say, Luke?
pickle's up the, up the bat, huh? Pickle is up the bat. He came in close. He came in close. Fucking yo. No? Off? Whatever it was, it's just nibbling. You wanna leave it? I'd leave it back out, put it back out. We're in the chip, boys. He just came in though, because that line slacked big time. <laughs> yeah, he slacked. Good time to get Western? I think it might be. Good time to get Western? I think going? it might be. I hope. Right here. I'm waiting for a good run. Way in. Give him some, just tighten him up a little bit and let him then sit. It's not waves. It's not waves. <laughs> it's not waves. <laughs> That's the fish that we've been afraid to catch all week is what that is. It almost feels like he keeps dropping. He might just be sucking on it or swimming back. If it's dropping it, it's either a small shark or a ray and it can't get the whole thing in their mouth. So they grab a hold of it and they swim for a minute drop it. Because it's not a good solid hookup. He hasn't really ran. There he is. Yeah. If he, there he is. Would it be like worth he's just it? Fighting it and he pulls against that weight and they let's go. If he pulls it, get, if he takes it for another little run, it would be worth clicking hard and just setting, trying to get the pull to the corner of his mouth. You trying to pull on it right now? Nothing. Nothing at all. been eaten out. Nothing. Dragon sand. Little babies. I mean something mouthed it and took it for a little bit. Hey buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking out boys. That might have been a bite right there. We suck. Suck again. Whip it back out there. Are there teeth marks in it? Little Even. ones. Take it back out. Small ones. Nothing crazy. That's it. It's a wrap. Ew, that thing is yucky. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. Ethan's got a knife on his neck. That's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap on the shark fishing. That's it.
We're going home. Wow. Good week. I don't think anyone's looking forward to this drive. This ours is only six hours today. Uh, yeah, ours is a good solid 12er. One for the books. It was one for the books. I don't think I have anything left to talk about on camera. <laughs> no. I think the camera is done. Talk about it in life. Yeah, maybe we'll put a little bit of the podcast on the end of this movie, but we hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys. Welcome to OBX the movie. Something different than you guys have probably ever seen before. It's a mixture of a family vacation, friend vacation, big time fishing trip, and everything else that we do here in the OBX. So I'm gonna go through and show you everybody that's here. Say hi to the camera, it's the, it's the intro scene. Hi. It's we're the intro scene for the movie. Hi. Intro scene for the movie. I'm gonna go introduce everyone. I'll help you out. Okay, you. Well, I'm filming the intro for the movie right now, actually. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> intro for the movie. Raymond, this one is ruined. Movie intro. Okay. This one's ruined. Drank a bunch of salt water. Oh man. That's it. We'll be filming all week. Something a little different, something a little fun. We love our shark fishing and our beaching. Otherwise, no complaints about how the week went, surf fishing wise. Uh, yeah, so to give a little bit of a rundown, uh, we're obviously deer hunters from Ohio, so we don't spend much time on the beach, much time fishing. One week a year. Yeah. About one week a year. We haven't been down there for two years. Yeah, but we were uh, trying our hand at land based shark fishing. That was our main goal. We were also trying to catch some uh, smaller fish in the surf, but uh, land based shark fishing was our main goal of the trip. And we did accomplish that. And we did accomplish what we wanted to. We did catch the biggest shark we've ever caught. Yes. So that's, you know, that's exactly something without it. Yeah, that was some sports sharks would have been cool. That yeah, four, that's, five foot first night, you yeah. think black tip would have been a nice one to land. Dude, that's my, my notes. My notes say to go right into the first night when we got there. It was, you know, everyone kind of got down there at different times. It's a 12 hour drive for us. So people left at 3 a.m., people left at 4 a.m., so people left a little bit later. Four different vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. So we had 14 people, four vehicles, uh, a bunch of couples, and some friends. And we got down there first night. Yeah, first nights are tough because you're kind of all getting into the 